Now the next one really really cool is that you want to do some simple makeover, very quick makeover of her before and after. Inside Paint Shop Pro, it's again very easy to do it. Okay, there are a few steps to do. So what I'll do is I'll just show you very quickly on what are the few steps is. I think it's it's suitable. Go back to manage. Let me find uh, photo fix. Her edit. Okay, so once you have an image of her, you can find that there are certain certain things that you want to remove, some blemishes here and there, just enhance it a bit. Okay, first you can go over to adjust and look for one called uh, skin, eh, where is my skin smoothening here. Okay, this is just to make the skin a little bit blurish so it's not too um, sharp or not too pixelated. Okay, just to smoothen the skin a little bit. You want to enhance it a bit more, you can push higher, it just goes smoother and smoother. Okay, let it load a while. At the bottom, the bar will load. You can see this is the after, this is the before. Okay, so once you're done, you click OK, you'll see that the process will appear here. And yeah, see, it smoothens out for her already. This is more of a makeover kind of feel. Now, next one, what you want to do is, let's say you want to enhance things like her eyes, darken the lips, the hair, or eyebrow, things like this. Inside here, there is one called the makeover tool, which is pretty straightforward, what it does. Okay, so makeover. On top, there are some cool, fu some cool functions, blemish fixer like makeup, okay, toothbrush, <laughs> brush the teeth. Okay, this is to remove red eyes. This one is to increase the, the darkness. This one is to make her slimmer. Okay. So what it does is, let's say I have a few settings I need to do. I'll first use the blemish fixer, which is this one, first one. So what I do is, let's say I want to, okay, you got to look at this closely. Yeah? Let me just increase the size of the... Wait, huh? Okay, you do see the two circles here. One thing good about this Paint Shop Pro is that this is what you remove. Okay, and whatever is outside here, it will take whatever skin or color you have here and then patch it inside here. Okay, so it takes the surrounding here and it's pretty, pretty clever on this. Okay, this is one cool function I like about this. Okay, so let's say I want to remove the a little blemish here. Okay, so I re reduce the brush a bit smaller. And then all you need to do is just click, remove. Okay, click once, remove. Click here, remove. Okay, it's a very straightforward process. If you don't want, just remove, just remove. Okay, no more others. All right, fixed. Okay, so once you're done with this, the next one you can do is let's say you want to increase the darkness of her eyes. Okay, it's not too, not too much here. Okay, so you can increase the sun tan. <coughs> too huge, reduce the brush, darken the eyes a bit, darken the eyes a bit. Okay, you can also do the lips, reduce the size of the brush, okay, darken the lips a little bit so it's not too pale. Okay, first time around, no good, darken one more time again and try. Still no good, increase the size of the strength. Let's say I go to 40, pump up even bigger, it gets darker and darker. Okay, just like she has a lipstick or something. Okay, so next thing you can do is that let's say I want to have her hair is a little bit too, too light. Okay, so let's say I want to darken her hair. You can darken it painting her hair. Okay, give it a little bit of depth to it. Okay, so when you paint, you can see that the hair starts to get darker and darker, and it looks really, really nice. Okay, same for here. Remove a bit of the white hair or the bright part of the hair. Okay, enhance it a bit. All right. So once you're done with this, a little while. The thing that you find her say now I want her to be slimmer. She's a bit too. Nah, she's really 
slim enough, but you want her to go a bit slimmer again. This one here called Tinify. You click on that, look at the strength. 10 is okay, not bad. So when you say I click the one from here in the center, it starts to squash from the center. Okay, you want her to go slimmer again? Squash from the center again. Okay, more. <laughs> this will be our head. <laughs> okay, this is too much. So this is what you want to do. Where which part ever you want, you just make her slim and then you have it. Pretty simple to do. Okay, so with just these few simple steps, you are able to remove away all the blemishes, enhance the makeup a bit, and then uh, give her some depth to a color. Okay, so this will be just about the makeover tool, which is again quite, quite uh, cool to use. Now, the next one I'll be doing is object extractor. Now, a lot of people have always this problem about extracting objects or extracting hair texture well in paint shop is quite good okay so just let me show you how it's done okay the next one would be the white tiger yeah okay so this one I will have to go to image object extractor which I already named that Again, this time around, to answer query, this is the one that has the paint bucket. Okay? Object extractor. So let's say you want to increase the size of the brush. You can preview the yellow color there, how big you want to paint. You just need to paint the edge of the tiger. Okay, so I don't need it to be too big, just like this. Okay? Paint the edge of the tiger. Those parts that you want to keep. Okay? Once you're done painting the edge, that's not all. You need to do the paint bucket which is this one. You fill, you click inside. Okay, means this whole thing you want to keep. The outside you do not want. All right, once you're done, you click process. Okay, you hide. You can see that the hair is uh, still extracted by the things that it is better than what you initially did not have. Okay, so again, if the color is too complex or the resolution is too low, um, you may face a little bit of problem, but if it's a higher resolution, you'll be quite good, quite accurate. Okay, you can increase accuracy, how high you want, how low you want, how much uh, accuracy is being done for this. Okay, so the higher accuracy, it takes a little bit more time. So I always go for a lower accuracy. Yeah, okay. You want to edit again just now what you did, you just click on edit mask, it goes back to where you was again just now. Okay? Before and after. Alright? Then process again, you go back to the one. Now, what I want to show you will be the better one will be on hair extraction. This is a a thing that a lot of people have problem with. Okay, image object extractor. Now again, her hair is a little bit difficult to extract. So what I do is that I increase the brush a little bit bigger this time around to capture a bit more. And I start to paint the edge of her hair. Now I use the paint bucket, fill. Again, after that you process and you see. Sometimes first time around it doesn't work. Go back, paint again, it will work again. Right? So you hide the mask, you can see that it's pretty good. Okay, hair extraction is very, very uh, fast and it's very, very accurate. In all the aspects of the hair there. Okay, so this Paint Shop Pro has very, very good uh, hair extraction uh, and compared to the other softwares. Okay. Okay, so once you're done, you can see that uh, image, whatever you do with it, put her behind a magazine or some different background, it's up to you. All right. The last one for Paint Shop Pro would be this one you have seen before and after. Now, last one would be things like this. If you have an image before you took during your journeys or travels or your, cl your client wants you to do something like this, a tilt shift effect, like a toy, um, toy model effect. Okay, so things like this. Again, it's very easy to do in here. 
first you open the file, go back manage again, look for the file that you want, here, edit. Okay, this one you go to effects, photo effects, and look for selective focus. Okay, so you wait a while, it sees the before and after, so what it does is it increases the saturation for you. So, so you see over here, it looks much brighter, the colors are more saturated, okay, more vibrant, the colors there. Okay, where you want to shift the focus, you can shift the focus here, you'll process it here, you'll see it before and after, now it's here. Okay, you want to increase the focus, the blur, how big you want, you can do it here, or this one. Where is my, yeah, how big the focus you want it to be? Okay, the center portion. Okay, so I'll just reduce this back bigger, smaller again. And here, smaller. Okay, once you're done, click OK. You can adjust whatever age you want, saturation, how sharp or how, how much colors involved you can decide based on the preview of after. Once you're done, click OK, and you have the effect here. Okay, so it looks very model looking, very uh, toy, toy feel to it. All right, so this will be more of the selective focus. All right, so this is what I have for PaintShop <coughs> Pro X4. Again, just to refresh yourself, photo blend, really cool, very fast smart cover, uh, makeover, object extractor, hair extractor, and the last one was selective focus. Okay, any questions for this? So, I see the tea lady jumping. Is it better to use this one, huh? copy and paste? Copy and paste, copy and paste, you may have a problem with the lighting. With the light, because if you see the image, there are all three different lightings. Your environment light will change. Unless you take photo of her at the immediately at the probably ten minutes span. Sometimes you take photo of her once, she needs to make up again. Second time go back again. That's probably like fifteen minutes later. The light will change. Okay? And then make up again, third image, the light will change again. So what it does is that it also not only it, it helps you to blend all three. It also captures the image lighting and helps you to merge three together. It's like a HDR kind of feel. So it not only merges the three ladies together, but it also merges the colors. So you won't have her, maybe the left side of her brighter, the center darker, right side different color, the background. Now, if you do kind paste, then you will have the problem. Mm. For this, you will not have the lighting problem.